This is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. I'm at my house here in Tahoe, Nevada. Thank you guys so much for joining in. I wanted to share with you, last year I did 100 days of World Carnivore Month, and this year I'm going to share 30 days or 31 days of sharing the whole month of January of what I'm doing. The carnivore diet is the simplest diet you will ever do. So in that 100 days, I learned something very, I learned something very valuable. And what I learned that's valuable is this is the simplest diet on earth. And it might not be the easiest diet to always follow. And that's why I always share with you that you're one meal away from being off plan. You're one meal away from being back on plan. One meal away from being off the diet. One meal away from being back on the diet. Don't get into this habit of thinking that you're on and off the team, so to speak. Uh, don't get down on yourself. If you have a meal that's off plan, don't worry about it. Let's, let's do this for the long haul. We're, we're trying to do this for... 31 days straight, and out of those 31 days, uh, what if you were doing really well on it for, I don't know, more than half the days? That would be great. If you had more, that that would mean that you'd have more good days than you had bad days, right? Pretty simple. What I mean, though, by this being the simplest diet is the the diet itself is just eating meat and meat-based products, and so if you were in an elevator and you had to pitch somebody real quick, they said, hey man, like I'm tired of being fat, I need to lose some weight. And they said, what do, you know, what do I do? Well, they could be getting off on that floor and you could just kind of yell to them and say, eat some meat. If they just can remember that, if they're like, hey, what'd that guy say? He told me to only eat meat. If they could remember that and not shop for anything else, they're gonna lose some weight. You're gonna see that guy in a year and he's gonna be like, yo, I lost 100 pounds. It's that simple, it really is, because by eating more meat, we're going to be increasing the amount of protein that we're taking in. We're getting, a lot, getting rid of a lot of things that cause cravings. I be, I'm a believer that carbs beget carbs. When you eat carbohydrates, you have a taste for carbohydrates. And I don't mean rice, and I don't mean oatmeal, and I don't mean some carbohydrates that come from vegetables. I'm talking about the really good shit. I'm talking about pizza. I'm talking about ice cream. I'm talking about chips, all that stuff, right? We all know that once you get that taste... For, well, for so many of us, not for everybody, but for so many of us, that's a dangerous space to be in. And over that 100-day period, I learned a lot about myself. I learned that it was easier to go deeper into the diet if I allowed myself to simply eat more food. So those of you that are looking to get leaner and looking to get in better shape, I made a statement last year and I said, you know, hey, I'd love to get rid of this kind of chunk of fat that I have back here. And I kind of squeezed a, uh, a weak area of mine. I kind of have like a little bit of love handles left over from when I was 330 pounds. I'm now 230 pounds. And I was like, by this time next year, that's going to be gone. And it's gone now. And my whole point in bringing that up is to tell you that it's okay to eat more food when you're trying to eat healthier because you're in this for the long haul. And yes, on a calorie basis and Yes, by the scale, there might be some things that aren't maybe moving in the right direction. But by you making the correct decision and the correct choice over time, you're creating better habits. And you're doing what I like to call, we, we talk about this a lot in the gym, you're doing mindsets. And that's what we're doing. How do you get good at something? You do repetitions of it, right? You do reps with it. So every meal that you have is a decision to go carnivore or a decision to go to the dark side and to eat something that's not on plan, right? Every time you, you make a decision, you're making a good, strong vote for yourself. You're saying, I committed to doing something. I'm going to follow through on that something that I, it, that I said that I want to do. And now you're building up points. You're putting up points on the scoreboard. You're putting up points on the scoreboard of life. And now it's going to be easy to lose weight. It's going to be really simple to lose weight. How do I know this? Well, A, I lost 100 pounds, never gained it back. B, when I talk to people in the streets and they say, hey, Smelly, I did the carnivore diet last year. And they're like, I lost 40 pounds. Usually the next thing they say to me is so beautiful. They say, and you know what, man? It wasn't that hard. And I'm always blown away by that. It wasn't that hard. And that's what I want. That's what I would love for you guys to experience. Give this diet a shot. Give it a try. Don't just try it for a day or two and say, oh, it bothered my stomach or don't just throw it away because, I don't know, you heard someone say something about cholesterol or, or, or any of these things. Give it an honest shot. Give it an honest try. You owe it to yourself. I know that you're sick and tired of being fat. 
I was fat before too. My entire family is fat. My mother died from being fat. She didn't move enough. She ate too much and it was crippling and it was stifling to her. And a lot of people that are obese and a lot of people that are heavy, they got scars from when they're younger. And the, those scars are so damaging that they're paralyzed and they can't, they don't know how to take that first step. But I'm here to take that first step with you. Take my hand. I will walk you through this. I want you guys to stay up on the 10 minute walks. I want you to try this diet with me. And uh, I want to see you guys make a lot of progress. So in that 100 days, I learned a lot about myself. You guys are going to learn a lot by joining me for World Carnivore Month. In the comments below, anyone who's had success previously or anybody that wants to share an experience of what the carnivore diet did for them, please share in the comments below. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never strength. Catch you all later.